Good morning everyone, hope you're all well. Uh, here we are, we're back at school, I'm back in my office, hooray, and we move towards having a, a normal life again. Uh, it's been absolutely fantastic having you all back. I'm ever so pleased, really delighted with how well all the teachers have worked to get everything ready for you and get the school up and running. And massively pleased with how well you've all settled. You've all come back and got on with it. And to be honest, it's a bit like we've never been away, hasn't it? Um, I want to talk to you this morning about um, a piece of work that we've been doing in school, uh, making something a little bit new for you all, uh, which has come about largely by Mrs Clark and with help of other staff, where we've decided um, that we've got too many rules. There are too many things telling you what to do. And we want to keep things really simple so that you can get on with your work and you know what it is you should or shouldn't be doing. And Mrs Clark asked all the teachers... Uh, whether or not, first of all, how many rules we had in school and then whether or not we could name them all. And a lot of us knew that we had 11 rules, uh, but nobody could name all of them. And in fact, we couldn't name all of them when we put all our answers together. So the point was that we had too many rules and we needed to keep things simple. So we now have, as you know, because teachers have been talking to you about it, three rules, just three, three things to remember. The second one's got little bits to remember within it, but Really, it's three things. You've got to be ready, you've got to be proud, and you've got to be reflective. So, what do we mean um, in terms of the whole school and being in school by ready? So, in order to learn, you need three things, I believe. Um, you need the school that works and has everything in place for you. Um, you need to feel happy, and you need to feel safe. And I've done those in the wrong order, really. You need to feel safe first. The school's got to have a roof on it. You've got to know who is there to look after you. You've got to know that when things go wrong, we will help you to put things right. And it, you've got to be in a place where, where you like being. And once you're feeling safe in school, then you can start to worry about how happy you are in school. And if your friends aren't talking to you, or you feel the work's too hard, or you feel you've fallen out with the, one of the people, one of the adults in school, then we need to make sure that we have the sort of school where you can come and talk to people. So when those two things are in place, when you're feeling safe and when you're ready to work, then you can start to learn. So safe and happy, ready to learn. And it's all about getting things in place that mean we are ready to learn. It also means that you, um, you're ready to listen. You've got all the stuff that you need. Um, you've got pencils and paper and pens and any books that you've done the homework that we've asked you to do or you've read the books that we've asked you to do and you're ready to listen to the teacher and it all comes down to that that one rule to be ready and we expect teachers to be ready as well we expect the lessons are planned and that teachers are at the door waiting to greet you um, and that's it really be ready second rule second rule is proud proud of all we do and that as we know is broken down into five little sections uh, and we also we changed proud I know you can remember this during uh, lockdown when you weren't in school and only some people were in school and we used our proud values to make sure that we kept ourselves safe and I'll talk about that in a minute so we've got ready we've got proud of all we do and then our third rule is that we're reflective because things go wrong and we make mistakes I make mistakes teachers make mistakes parents make mistakes um, when we've made a mistake and something has gone wrong, we might have uh, f forgotten to do something or not been ready or you've fallen out with somebody, we then need to think about what went wrong and to make sure that that doesn't happen. It's called learning from your mistakes. So when we make a mistake, we need to have a good think about it, about how that mistake happened and how we're going to put it right so that those things don't happen anymore and takes you back to being happy. So if we're reflective, means thinking about what we've done, about our mistakes, then we know we can carry on with our learning and we will be safe and happy. So, ready, proud of all we do, reflective. That's all we want from you. You do that and we will make sure that you become absolutely fantastic people who achieve their full potential and everything that we think you're capable of doing, you'll show us that you can do. So, as well as having just three rules, we've also changed our behaviour a bit so that uh, it's called a positive behaviour system and we're looking to 
reward things that you do well. We're not looking to punish you and to find out when things have gone wrong and what we can do to make you sorry you've done it. We want you to be happy that what you're doing in school is being celebrated, that we're noticing it and that we are giving you rewards for working your hardest. And we feel that a lot of the time, the people who always do what they're told and always work as hard as they can and always follow the proud values are not always given the recognition and the rewards and the well done that they deserve. So we've had a little look at particularly the traffic light system, as you know, and we're going to keep yellow and red for now, but we don't think we'll need them very often. Uh, and we're going to have some stars that people go on. But the real new massively exciting thing is that you'll all have a recognition board in your class. And when you've done something really special, your teacher will put your name on the recognition board and it will stay there, cannot be taken away. And when, not if, when everybody in the class has their name on the recognition board, the class will get a treat. So we're not doing golden time anymore. When you've earned your treat, which will be as soon as you're all on the recognition board, you'll be able to do that treat, which will be decided by the class from some options uh, at some point during that week. So I think that's very, very exciting. And sometimes we'll have a thing in school that we really want everybody to be doing. So we'll ask teachers to put you on the recognition board for doing that thing. And at the moment, uh, obviously we're back in school and we've got new ways of working. I want to have another look at this, our proud stay safe rules and how we are, please wash your hands. Remember to keep things clean. Can't read them backwards. Only touch things you need. Uncovered coughs and sneezes, spread germs, catch it, bin it, kill it, and distance yourself, stand away from people. So we're looking at doing these things to stay safe, and you can teach these to your parents as well on the yard, please. And what we're really looking for is people washing their hands all the time. So if you're found to be washing your hands all the time without being reminded constantly every day, then that's what should get you on the recognition board with a bit of luck. And finally, we're going to make a real, real effort that when something's gone wrong and somebody's got angry, somebody else doesn't also get angry. It's called escalating, so things go up and up. So teachers have all said they're not going to shout. No one's going to shout. We're going to be a school where nobody shouts. And that includes me. And I think I'm going to possibly struggle with that. So I've made a promise and everyone's made a promise that we will not shout at children. So we'll see how that goes. So... Got on with your work, really, now, isn't it? What do you need to do in order to get on with your work? You have to be... Okay. Ready. 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 Proud of all you do. Reflective. Please. See you later.